Hi everyone, today we will be talking about prototype design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Most common way of categorizing design patterns is by usage of those patterns and it is divided into three main categories, creational, structural and behavioral. Prototype belongs to creational design patterns. This design pattern is used to make either deep or shallow copies of existing objects in cases where creating new can be costly. Prototype class offers a clone method that deals with copying all of the original object attributes so that client code does not need to be aware of the prototype class structure. For immutable types of attributes, we use shallow copying as those could be shared among different instances. Let's have a look at the example demonstrating the usage of a prototype design pattern. We have a client that wants to create a robot with certain robot parts. Before he starts playing with that robot, client would like to make a clone out of it. Once those parts are replicated, he will assemble them into a robot clone. Client can now start using the clone robot. Now, let's go through the implementation of this example. We have an abstract class robot part that has an ID and an abstract method get name. We have also shown one implementation of the robot part in the left arm class that returns an appropriate message. Other robot part implementations have the similar behavior with corresponding messages. Robot is a prototype class as it contains the clone method that will create a new list of robot parts and for each part in the existing list create a deep copy and add it to the new list. As for the Wi-Fi password field, we just pass the same reference as string is immutable making it a shallow copy. Here we have shown the client code that uses the capability of robot cloning. We create a robot with a head, left arm and right leg. Once we do that, we call the clone method which returns a clone object. You can see in the console output that by logging the robot parts from both original and cloned robot, we get the same types and number of robot parts. However, since we used a deep copy, they all have different IDs. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.